Right, it's uh, Monday the 4th of January and we're here in the Learning Annex at the Re Referent Library on Bishop Street for a editorial meeting of the new Leicester Wave newspaper and we're joined by Hasmita. How are you? Hello, I'm well, thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, 2010. <laughs> 2010, the, the, uh, 2010, the year for a young person's newspaper, I think. Definitely, the year for a revolution. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about the newspaper and what it means to you. The newspaper, I think, is just one of these things, absolute fantastic opportunity for young people all across Leicester, but even just across the UK, for like a platform, it's a voice for them, and it's the first time I think anything's really come up which is written, kind of all organised, like media orientated, and news. it's just, like, it sends excitement, it's just such an amazing platform for us to share our views, tell people what we think instead of being told what we think, and to share our ideas about everything and everything. It's for everyone. Now you've been involved in things like Takeover Radio, which again is, is the young people's, is the only one in the country, isn't it? The only people's run uh, radio station. So Leicester's got a bit of a, uh, a history for breaking uh, ground with these kind of things for young people. I mean, as someone who's been involved in Takeover, Takeover Radio and been involved in news and written some articles for Citizen's Eye as well, what do you think is the most important thing from your point of view as to why you would get involved in a project like this? There's so much, I think, and you can't think, you can't just label it down and just put it to one thing. Something on a scale which is so immense in what it can do and the potential that it holds, you can't just say one thing. Um, some of the biggest things, and there's got to be a few, um, is the platform that it gives for young people, the opportunity it presents to people. And for most people as well, for most young people getting involved, it will be an awakening, it will be a platform and it will be a foundation for another career. And just so many options like they can do things with this that they never like thought they could do before like things that are like unimaginable until you get involved like things like interviewing some of like celebrities that they've admired um going and talking to people about issues that they feel passionate about it's just so much i don't know you just keep saying that there's so much but there is and it's just so difficult to narrow down now, the scope is just so now it's the 4th of january today and obviously it's due to come out on the uh, on the 20th of uh, january which is a wednesday i think um I, hopefully i've got that right i won't be able to edit that bit out but um i mean from my point of view it's when i talk to young uh, young people about it and they say oh you know you're writing in it john and blah you know you're 43 and blah so well, no if you're not under 25 you can't write in it you know we've facilitated it happening it really is down to young people and I think the clarion call really is for them to get involved and, and, and write articles and get involved in, in uh, the magazine and the newspaper as well and also the website I mean how do you see it developing you know when you've got the first issue in your hands I mean what, what do you think you'll feel like? Oh, the first issue is just going to be absolutely amazing and I hope just like the name it's going to send out a wave like the first one's done by quite a small group of people but it's kind of like from the outset it's just not the small group of people it's for everyone that wants to get involved like kind of right now we're kind of just like this little puddle and so nice we're going to get more people involved like more drops and then it's going to be a force and it is going to be a force which we're going to bring forward and oh it's just exciting <laughs> thanks very much Esmita thank you bye